Hey, good morning. It is coffee time. Happy, uh, what is today? Today's hump day, right? Wednesday, April the 3rd. Good morning to all of you. Let's put down some caffeine. Before I go into my regular routine here, I got this quote. I got to read it to you. (laughs) This is a good one. This is for overcoming adversity, all right? The only thing that stands between you and your dream is the will to try and the belief that it is actually possible. Now, I'll read that one more time. The only thing that stands between you and your dream is the will to try and the belief that it is possible. That's a great quote. So, there you go on that quote uh, of the day. Um, I like that quote, yeah. (laughs) I mean, I got dreams, and I'm still working on a few of them to uh, come true. I had a friend get in touch with me yesterday and say, Hey, are you still looking for a motorhome? I said, Well, I just bought a van, you know, but uh, what do you got? (laughs) And she said, I don't have, but I have a friend that has uh, a converted ambulance. She said the, the guy did it and did it right. You know, repainted it and uh, made the inside of the converted ambulance into a, a small camper. And she said it's uh, solar powered so you can go off the grid It's got the generators and everything you need in there. And I said, well, get me a picture of it. Uh, Let me know what state it's in. And, of course, what the asking price is and the phone number so I can speak to this fine man about this converted ambulance. (laughs) Might be something I'd look into. We'll see. Anyway, um, let me put down some more caffeine first. You do the same. What do I got today going on? Uh, I got an appointment to uh, get a new family doctor. So uh, I have to go see this person. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, she's off of, uh, I think, Highway 27 or something. I thought I had the paperwork here, but apparently I, I don't have it here. Maybe I do. Let me check. For you people that live in this area, you might know this doctor. Dr. Bello. B-E-L-L-O, from Orlando Health. Yeah, off of uh, Road 27. So I have to go there and uh, fill out paperwork, you know, uh, because I don't have a family doctor here yet, you know. I've been living here long enough. I need one. And besides that, excuse me, a couple weeks ago, I got in touch with my family doctor over there in uh, Pennsylvania, and I needed some uh, meds. And, uh, he said, Ralph, all right, I'll give them to you one more time. But then after that, you got to get a family doctor down there. Cause I can't keep doing this. I haven't seen you in over a year. I said, okay, doctor, thank you very much. So, uh, they, uh, got in touch with, uh, I think it was Publix that, uh, I, yeah, it was Publix, uh, the pharmacy there. And, sent all the information there, and I was lucky enough to get uh, a couple months uh, uh, worth of uh, medication that I need, and uh, so now it's time for me to kick it in gear and and get a new family doctor. All right, enough of that. Um, Oh, what was it, yesterday? No, the day before, I did a, a, a Boston butt roast slow and low. I smoked it real nice on my Weber kettle charcoal grill. And son of a gun, did that thing turn out nice. Yes, it did. And I mixed it with some uh, Sticky Fingers Carolina barbecue sauce. Sticky Fingers. It's good stuff. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Um, And I shared it with one of my neighbors here. Uh, I'll have to check with them and see what they thought of it. You know, it had uh, just the right hint of smoke in it. I used a uh, hickory and just lightly smoked it up. 
and then of course I shredded it up and all that and I I mixed in this Carolina barbecue sauce sticky fingers you might want to check it out if you like that kind of a sauce you know uh let's see what else um birthdays today it's uh Eddie Murphy's birthday happy birthday Eddie Murphy 62 years young god bless you he was born in Brooklyn New York I didn't know that and his father was an actor or a comedian, a comedian, I'm sorry, a part-time comedian. He would do that in the evening after he got off work. Uh, he was uh, some kind of a police officer in Brooklyn. I forget exactly what for, but he was, uh, you know, an officer, full-time job. And uh, he was a uh, uh, amateur comedian, as uh, the uh, research that I did, as, as, as they spelled it out, you know. And uh, Eddie Murphy's uh, mother, which I had to check that out because it had Eddie Murphy's father, uh, but no information on mom. So I asked the question to Google, and we always know that Google is always right. And uh, it so happens that uh, Eddie Murphy's mom, uh, she she was, a, I guess, a, a telephone operator back in the day. And then uh, uh, Eddie Murphy's dad and mom, they eventually broke up. Uh, I guess they they split when Eddie was only like eight years old or something, or maybe younger than that. And his father passed away very young, apparently passed away around the age of uh, 28, you know. So uh, Eddie Murphy, uh, he didn't have that comfortable of childhood growing up. You might want to check that out. Check into that research. It's, it's pretty good information. Another birthday today, Alec Baldwin. It's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Alec. Um, not too much I can say about that young man, but uh, happy birthday to you. What else do I have going on here for today for myself over here at the, the community of Holiday RV Village? Let's see. Uh, I have a, uh, a meeting I, I also have to go to around 2 o'clock, uh, a resident fund committee meeting. Uh, so I'll be going down there to listen to what they all have to say since I'm a full-time resident here. You know, a friend of mine made this up for me. <laughs> she, she took the calendar that uh, you can get every uh, once a month, you know, when you go into to pay your uh, dues at, and it let's see but anyway uh, that. There, we are. there we go it's a uh, it's our little newsletter you know and they make it up pretty nicely here you know it's done real nice all very professional but anyway when I went in uh, she said Ralph take the calendar and she opened it up she goes Here's what I do. Now, this is her talking. She says, I highlight everything that I'm interested in doing for that month. I said, oh, okay. She goes, let's do this for you. So she asked the questions. Do you want to do this, 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 this? No, no, yes, yes, no, yes, yes. She goes, okay. So I'm going to highlight on those days. And that way you'll be able to look at that and decide, okay, that's a reminder for you to, hey, you got to go and do this, you know, because uh, I forget a lot of things anymore, you know, <laughs> like there were a couple things uh, last week that I wanted to go to and I went, son of a gun, I missed it, you know, and there's also supposedly an app, which I got to get on my phone uh, for Holiday RV Village, and it reminds you of everything that's going on on that particular day. I guess it, it'll send you a, a little bit of flash or something, you know. So I'm going to check that out. That'll help me out too, you know. But anyway, she was nice enough to do all this stuff for me. And uh, I want to thank her. And uh, she knows who I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, that's all I have on that. Um, got a lot of rain coming in today. Over here, uh, you know, in Central Florida, um, 
Leesburg area. Uh, we're going to be up in the 80s, which is nice, but it's uh, cloudy, windy, thunderstorms coming in. Uh, there is, a, you know, a, a, a wind advisory that will be coming through here, I guess, uh, around uh, 12, 30, 1 o'clock. And then we got thunderstorms supposedly coming in uh, after 1 p.m. Uh, and they're also saying, uh, you know, with all this wind coming in uh, to, uh, you know, take care of your plants outside or, or whatever you might have out there, uh, hunker it down so it doesn't blow all over the place. So I got to do something with my little plants out there um, while we get this, uh, you know, windy day. Um, I was hoping to go out on a boat, but uh, that matter of fact, we were talking about that last week, myself and a friend of mine about maybe uh, jumping out on the boat on Wednesday and uh, didn't happen. So we'll have to do that another day. Okay, that's all I have. Oh, the other thing that I did uh, mention, I think I posted it too. Uh, you know, since uh, a lot of people uh, left the community, went back to their home states and that, uh, you know, we have campfires here, campfire parties and things like that. But uh, I suggested, well, why don't we have a cocktail hour on a pontoon boat? Not going out on the boat, just sitting on a pontoon boat where it's, you know, on the slip, in the slip, and just, you know, chat, chat around with your friends and neighbors. And so uh, I uh, posted that, and I'll see what kind of response, you know. If I can get, uh, uh, let's say, uh, from five to seven uh, people that might want to come over uh, to my pontoon boat and uh, for a happy hour, if you want to call it that, <laughs> sit around on a boat, uh, have a couple of adult libations and talk about nothing of any real importance. Uh, I think that could work out real nicely, you know. And my friends over here in Holiday RV Village, if you didn't see that posing but you're hearing it now, you know, send me your thoughts on that. Uh, if you think that would be a good thing to do, you know, maybe a couple times a week or maybe even just once a week, you know. It don't matter to me. We'll figure something out. It could be a good thing. <clears throat> okay, that's all I got. I'm going to put down a little bit more caffeine. Uh, I do appreciate you guys watching my videos, all right? I appreciate the support you give me, the comments that you send to me. Uh, thanks for everything that you guys do, really. It means a lot to me. Be kind to one another, all right? Uh, love one another because we're not guaranteed tomorrow. Don't forget that. Life is too short. Don't sweat the small stuff. Okay? Pray to your God for peace on earth or your higher power. And thank your God or your higher power for another day on earth. With that being said, let's put down one more shot of uh, caffeine. And then I'm going to call this video a wrap. My next video will be made on... Uh, Friday. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Subscribe subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so yet. And share this video with your friends and family. You know, let them know what I do. And if they're into it, uh, have them uh, sign up. This is called your chill time, you know, where you can just sit back, relax, have your cup of coffee or your, your hot tea or whatever you might drink. And whatever time of the day you're going to watch this, okay? It's just so you don't worry about the things that are going on out in the world right now. This is your time just to chill out and relax and forget about the worries for a few short moments. All right. Cheers. Every one of you guys out there. My friends over here and my neighbors, Holiday RV Village, and of course my friends and family out there in Facebook land, you know, take care of one another. Comments are always welcome. You know that. Going to go out on three now. Big smile. One, two, three.
Don't sweat the small stuff. Peace.